having a balance between analytical skills and creative skills is really important because uh, I see these as being like different muscle sets inside the brain. And if you want to avoid fatigue, then what you need to do is uh, switch from one to another. If you try and do one for too long, uh, you, it becomes hard to sustain a high level of creativity for a long period of time. And then it becomes hard to sustain a high level of analytical, quantitative thinking for a long period of time. So by mixing the two, by jumping from one to the other, um, it's easier for our brains to remain fresh. What I try and do in class is to get them to associate ideas that they wouldn't normally associate. And some of that, again, is going to feel silly. It's going to feel weird, and that's great. You want them to be confident enough in their uh, approach to um, innovation that, that they're not afraid to throw out an idea that seems really off the wall. But the way that you get them there to start with is by encouraging them, helping them to associate things that have never been associated before. The other thing that I like even more is to have them in groups interview each other and really take the time to get beyond what's your name, where are you from, what's your favorite sports team, but really get into some things that are personal about each one of them, some things that they really care about because everybody really cares about something. And if you can talk with someone long enough, you can start to identify what those things are. And when you get to that point, and when you understand like what is special about each one of these people, then you can take those things that are special and start talking about how you might combine two of them. So, um, you know, the, the example I always come back to that I, I just love is um, the, the student who really liked camping and the other student who really liked Japanese food. And they came up with an idea of bento boxes for camping that would be a, a way to sort of have everything prepackaged for a camping excursion and it could just grab and go. I love that idea. And, and the way that they got there was combining two things that, that have nothing to do with one another, but they were two things that, that, that two people really cared about. In order to do this, they need to have um, skills around questioning. They need to be able to um, understand not just how to interview, but how to think about questions that are going to take someone away from what they might just assume, wh whatever the status quo in their lives is, whatever you know, social norms we might set up about what, what an appropriate conversation to have between two people who don't know each other that well would be. And then we've also got to encourage them to network with people that are not the same as them. You don't get any benefit from networking as an innovator if you're networking with people who are just like you. You know, I really try and push students to uh, expose themselves to a, a diverse group of other people. And if there's, you know, if there's a type of person that you don't know, if there's a type of person who has a set of beliefs that you don't subscribe to, it can be really helpful for you to get to know those kinds of people. And it also helps them to start to experiment with lots of um, thing, different ideas that, uh, that are unusual to them or uh, hobbies that, that um, they maybe didn't grow up with. Um, to, you know, ideally travel to other places where, you know, they put themselves in a radically different um, kind of environment where they s see people solving problems in different ways from the ways that they're used to solving those same problems. When they do that, they can then harvest those ideas that they have been exposed to and combine them with things that they already know and come up with something new. Um, and so that's where we're really trying to get them. So they're asking questions, they're, uh, they're networking, um, they're experimenting, and then they're combining these things together.